All right, now we are going to talk about linear equation. Linear equation. Okay. So before we actually get into um, linear equation, let's talk about what it means to be linear, what it means to be an equation. Linear simply means straight line, right? Linear means straight line. Well, that's not really straight. Well, let's pretend that this is a straight line. Um, so what do we call something's not straight? For example, something like this. This is going to be nonlinear. So straight line means linear. Okay, what do they mean by an equation? Equation simply means mass expression that with the equal sign. So anything that has equal sign uh, becomes an equation. So in this chapter, in this topic, we are mainly going to talk about equation, linear equation in one variable case. Um, linear equation in one variable. One variable. So, you know, simplest form would be something like this, x plus 1 equal 3. Now, first of all, why this is an equation? Why this is an equation? Because of this equal sign. Why this is one variable? Because we have one variable x. I mean, if we had like x plus 2y equal 3, something like that, we would say this is a two variable case because we have x and y, two variable. But you know, case like this, this is going to be one variable case. You know, just by looking at this, just look by looking at this equation, how do we know this is a linear case? How do we know this is a linear case? In other words, what part of this equation is saying this is a linear equation? Well, it's a linear because of that exponent of this variable. There's nothing, that means there's hidden one. So, for example, if we have like x squared plus 1 equal 3, because in this case, this is 2, not 1, that makes this that makes this equation as nonlinear case. Nonlinear equation because this is 2. So you know in the same sense if we check this equation right here, we have nothing, nothing there. 1 and 1. So we could say this is two variable case, but this is a linear case. So this would be linear equation in two variable. Two variable case. So in, in the in the beginning of this this chapter, we are only going to deal with linear equation in one variable case, case like case like this. Okay. So simplest and the most basic form of equation, the example that we can think of regarding um, linear equation in one variable would be solve the equation. So example. So, all right, so 
let's try a couple of example let's say 3x minus 2 equals 7 so first thing that we should do we should isolate the term with the variable x namely this term what do I mean by isolate well leave this term only everything else we should move it to the other side so you can think of uh, how do we get rid of this negative 2 well you can think of like adding 2 on both sides but what I usually do is just simply move this across the equal sign whenever that we move a term across the equal sign the sign change so this used to be negative 2 now it becomes positive 2 right that's what I usually usually do right? but if you like to think this as adding 2 on both sides you can you can do that too um, so simplify this would be 3x equal 9 and divide both sides by 3 cancel 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 become 3 so x equal 3 I mean you're supposed to put this back in here and see if this makes sense um, if you put 3 there 3 times 3 9 minus 2 7 there you go so we checked right um, so once you get your solution and if you still have um, time to do something else then you should you should definitely check it now of course you know sometimes it's not it's not that simple like this sometimes you know it has a little bit more substance so let's try another example let's say we need to solve one half x plus 5 minus 4 equal 1 third 2x minus 1 all right I mean if you take a look at this it's very different from this um, yet this is also a linear equation and one variable case. Why is it linear? Because of this x, the exponent, right here. There's nothing, which means there's one, and also right here, x, there's nothing, there's one. Why this is a one variable case? Because we have only x here and here. We have two of them, but that's okay. They have same kind, x, and this is an equation because of the equal sign. So this may look little different from previous case but you know basically it's the same thing now you can start approaching this by multiplying this inside the parentheses like that and that goes inside like this that can be done however I wouldn't recommend it because if you do that you have to do with a fraction later on it gets messy and you know complicated so what I would recommend is to try to figure out number that we are going to multiply on both sides so that we can get rid of this 2 and 3 at the same time. So 2 and 3. Well, 2 and 3. So what are we looking for? Basically we are looking for the LCM of 2 and 3 which is 6 that's right so what we are going to do now we're going to multiply 6 on both sides when we say we multiply 6 on both sides that means we're going to multiply 6 in every term but you know just for this I'm going to just write the whole thing down so we have 1 half x plus 5 negative 4 what was it we have 6, 1 third, 
2x minus 1. Close it. Okay, so that 6 now is going to be multiplied to this term and also to this, right? Because there's two terms. Why don't we say these are two terms as well? Because this and this are connected with the multiplication. That makes this as just one term. What about here then? Well, this one here is just one term because it's one third and this part connected with the multiplication. Okay, so this would be six, well, didn't change the color, times one half x plus five minus six times four equal six times times one third two x minus one just like that all right so let's um let's cancel this two cancel with this six become three this 3 cancel with 6 become 2. So what we have is 3 times x plus 5 minus 6 times 4, 24, equal 2, 2x two minus 1, just like that. All right. Now we are going to expand. So we're going to multiply this 3 here and here. So that makes this 3x plus 15 minus 24 equal, multiply this 2 again inside. So it'll be 4x minus 2. All right. So at this point, you can move this x term in here and you can move this two number term in here remember when we move it change sign right so 3x when we move this becomes negative right negative 4x i mean technically you could have wrote this like that negative 4x plus 3x meaning you can move this in front of 3x rather than behind 3x like this does it make any difference not at all do i prefer this yes because you you don't have to write uh, plus right sign so i think this is more efficient way um, if that doesn't bother you that much i mean i guess that's that's fine too now, before we move these two, let's combine these two. 15 minus 24. What would that be? That's minus 9, right? That's minus 9. So when we move this minus 9 to this side, that becomes, that's right, plus 9. Just like that. Oh, I forgot the negative. Ooh, negative right there. Okay, so if we simplify this, you just write it here, this would be negative x. What about this? 7. So multiply negative on both sides, it becomes x equal negative 7. You know, once you get this, you're supposed to put this back into this original equation and check your answer. Well, I'm not going to do that. I mean, you should do it though, right? Uh, all right. So, you know, solving um, linear equation is, is not, not too bad, right? Not too bad. All right. Uh, should we do one more? Yes, why not? Let's do one more. Uh, now this time we're gonna try to uh, 
let's start a new example. Example solve. Okay, so now um, given equation looks like this. Let's say we have 2x plus 1 times x minus 1 equal x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. Hmm. I mean, remember we are doing linear equation in one variable case. It looks like linear, but see, you have to expand it. When you expand it, it's not going to be linear anymore because remember this is 2x times x becomes 2x squared, right? When you multiply this to here. Well, but, you know, luckily we have another 2x squared on the other side, so it will cancel out and becomes a linear equation at the end. All right, let's, uh, let's uh, continue expanding. So multiply that to this term would be negative 2x. Multiply 1 to x becomes just x. 1 times negative 1 would be negative 1. So, I mean, we've done that before, but this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a result of 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? Okay. Do we have to do it in that order? Can we start from here? Yeah, we can start from here. As long as every term multiplied to the every other term, every term in the other term, then it should be fine. So if we do the same thing on this side, this would be 2x squared, x times negative 5, 5x, 5 times 2x, plus 10x, 5 times negative 5, negative 25. Okay, I mean just by looking at this, I know that I have this 2x squared and 2x squared there, so they'll cancel out, right? I don't have to move and cancel. Well, let's simplify this a little bit. So negative 2x and x would be negative x, negative 1, equal. This simplify becomes 5x negative 25. Okay, now I'm going to move this 5 here, move this negative 1 here. So if I move this uh, 5x becomes negative 5x, and we have negative x there. And we have negative 25. If I move that, it becomes plus 1. So this would be negative 6x, and this would be negative 24. So divide both sides by negative 6, negative 6, cancel everything, just x, cancel this, cancel to be 4. So our final answer is 4. And of course, you're supposed to put this back into the original equation, see if it's correct. And it is correct, right? So this is how you solve, you know, e the equation that looks like this, N looks like nonlinear, but it cancelled to be, cancelled to be linear. Okay.